England's news leader. New on the night team reaction tonight from residents in Newport after dozens of cats are seized from their neighbor's house. 26 of those cats found dead in a freezer. It's not the first time either. It's a disturbing story that we first brought you as breaking news at five. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. 18 of the cats taken from the home are being cared for, as you saw in that video there. The night team, Daniel Kennedy is live with new information tonight in Newport. Danielle? Hi, Dan and Patrice. This home behind me here on K Street is condemned tonight. The Rhode Island SPCA telling us it's not the first time that dozens of cats have been removed from that home. 18 cats recovering tonight after animal investigators seized them from a K Street home living in what they call deplorable conditions. There was feces all over the floor. They weren't using a litter box. Uh, the ammonia content was very high from the urine. Animal investigators entered the home in suits Wednesday with a search warrant after neighbors complained of a foul odor. Inside, they also found 26 dead cats individually wrapped in plastic in the freezer. We didn't question the owner, so I don't really know what the purpose was. Tax records show the home was last registered to a woman in her early 70s by the name of Linda Strahan. Ow! The SPCA says the woman surrendered nearly 50 cats to authorities back in 2010. They believe hoarding may play a factor. Neighbors shocked. Horrible, horrible. If I would have known, I would have called the police right away. Uh, yeah, it's kind of sad, really sad. Eight of the living cats are being cared for by the SPCA. Ten others are at the Potter League. Officials say they're malnourished. The home they came from condemned. I think more important is in the house, like what's going to happen to the lady. Authorities say charges against the homeowner are pending. Obviously, we have a duty here to speak for the animals, and the conditions were, they, they warrant somebody being held criminally liable. Now, the SPCA says that the homeowner could also face additional fines because they say some of the cats taken from the home were not spayed or neutered. Live tonight in Newport, I'm Danielle Kennedy, NBC 10 News Night Team.